I'm Nicole Cologne. Um, I'm an astrophysicist here at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. <laughs> and um, I actually work on NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS mission. And so this discovery was about a black hole shredding a star, and TESS happened to capture the very beginning of this event. Great. Um, and can you talk a little bit about that fact that this mission was designed to look for exoplanets, and then it's now helped catch this incredible black hole related event. Yeah, so TESS is fantastic in that it's a very multi-purpose uh, instrument. Uh, so it was designed to find planets around distant stars, uh, well distant and nearby stars actually. And it does this by staring at the stars and measuring their brightness over time. So it looks for little dips in the starlight and that indicates a planet is orbiting around it. In this case, TESS is monitoring a huge swath of sky looking for planets, but it also observes lots of other stars in the field. And it happened to capture this black hole, and it noticed a, a brightening in the um, and when this event was happening. So essentially, we TESS was able to witness the beginning of this black hole being um, serving to shred a star apart. Great, um, and. Is there anything particularly special about that data coming from TESS? Is there anything that these observations tell us about the black hole event that sort of more traditional astrophysics, the traditional black hole type observing um, instruments can't? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so, well, it was actually a, a ground-based survey called Assassin that first discovered the event and it was able to trigger um, another NASA satellite called SWIFT to collect ultraviolet data. Um, but TESS, as I mentioned, was basically happened to be staring at the right place at the right time. And so it was lucky in that it was able to capture the very beginning of this event and see the brightening due to the star um, being shredded apart by the black hole. And because we could capture the beginning, um, it's basically opening up a new regime where we can see and understand the beginning of the event and better, you know, use this information to model um, the physics behind how these events take place. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, and what have scientists already learned from these observations and what are they hoping that they can learn from looking at these observations in more detail? Or is it just a matter of waiting for the next one they see? <laughs> right. Well, these are actually relatively rare events, uh, so they occur every 10,000 to 100,000 years in a galaxy similar in size to our own. So capturing an event um, like this is was uh, very lucky, um, especially to, to be able to have um, both ground-based surveys uh, collect data and test collect data and SWIFT. So, because we could put all this data together and at different wavelengths of light um, from optical and ultraviolet, and that allows us to explore um, the, the event at different wavelengths of light and understand everything from changes in brightness to also temperature um, changes that take place. So it's really putting everything together that gives us the big picture. Is there anything that people excited about this discovery should be aware that TESS is currently working on or will be working on in the near future? Sure. So TESS um, has been operating, um, looking at the sky for planets since uh, July of 2018. And it's going to continue surveying the sky uh, for several more years. And so this was, you know, just the first event that, that TESS saw, one of these tidal disruption events. And so we do expect TESS to see more and to help us continue to understand um, black holes and, and their surrounding environments.